what do I think of the current state of metal? And is liturgy a metal band? And do I respect metal? Um, the answer is yes, I respect metal. And liturgy is definitely a metal band. Um, this question kind of came up in my interview with Anthony Santana last week. And it's kind of every interview I do, there's always like one question that kind of lingers in your mind where you're like, oh, I, you know, I wish I had thought about it more or whatever, that kind of thing. So I wanted to kind of, I don't know, I thought about it some more. I mean, basically, in some ways, you could, you could, you could, you could suppose that liturgy would just be better off not like claiming metal. Like we weren't originally from a metal scene. You know, we were much more coming out of an experimental environment, like wolf eyes or something, you know, like that's like where we originally kind of made waves. And then it was really music journalists who, and the promoters who were like bigger that started putting us on metal shows. And then there was this kind of controversy around oh, are they really metal or not? But I was calling the music transcendental black metal. Um, and um, so it's like, okay, like the metal scene feels combative towards liturgy. And also, like, I don't really listen to metal right now. I haven't for a long time. Um, like, because it's not, there's not that much interesting stuff happening in metal um, or rock generally. Um, so then it's like, well, why even claim metal, right? There's a reason. So, you know, the interesting things that are going on with metal right now are going on outside of metal. And everyone kind of knows this. They're going on in experimental music and in rap, really where metal is being kind of appropriated and used in those genres. Um, and I, I like, I really, I pay much more attention to that than I do to metal. But in terms of just like the music that I want to make and the experience I want to have making music, um, for me, like playing music with bandmates and, you know, writing it, you know, giving it to other people, having them start to learn it, getting together to practice, you know, like just like the concrete stuff, these sort of moments of like hearing someone play your music for the first time and then revising it based on how it sounds live and then, you know, like all starting to kind of memorize it together and kind of shift things around. And then like, and then ultimately, you know, obviously showing up at shows and having nothing pre-recorded and just like making music, you know, making music that you've like memorized and like, you know, playing it in like a slightly different way each time. Um, as a musician, there's just no substitute for that, you know? And you don't really do that in rap and you don't really do that in noise music. Like, uh, those genres, like the personal charisma of the person is so central to a performance. Like maybe you're doing some stuff live, but um, you know, like so much is pre-recorded usually. And um, and then similarly for classical music, like I really like you know I'm a composer, but I wouldn't want to just give the music to somebody else and then watch them play it. Like I want to play it. And so in my mind, metal is that it's music that, you know, it's rock based and it's like virtuosic and it's hard to play. And the composition is really important and the performance is really important. And like, there's something um, like, that's like the highest, 
I don't know, it's like the highest music can be or something. Um, and so then why is there so little interesting metal being made? Um, I mean, again, like there might be metal. I mean, I, I know of some metal that I like that's being made right now for sure. Um, but I think that generally what their genre could use more of uh, is, you know, first of all, just incorporate, you know, incorporating the genres that are currently incorporating metal. I mean, this is what the artwork was all about. The artwork, which just came out in 2015, was about these boundaries between metal and uh, trap music and electronic music, you know? So like, why not bring those genres into metal rather than letting metal be sent out into them? And also I think that like, it's, it's we're sort of ripe for like a feminization of metal. Um, because like people associate metal with men, you know, with being really masculine, um, you know, it's testosterone fueled, it's sort of all this stuff. And like, that's like, that's like not true at all. You know, like, like I've never experienced metal as being a big masculine thing. I mean, it can be, but I think that like the fact that it's mostly men who make and listen to metal is just like you know it's just random it doesn't need to be that way like even before i came out i was like you know it's like the femiest like metal person you know so and, and like i think that the spirit of the feminine could be in metal more and that that's kind of a harassment for it as well and then also maybe more direct contact with classical music, even though um, a lot of death metal, especially death metal and black metal, but especially death metal kind of, is like really composed in a very deep way. That's a lot like what you do in classical music. I think there could be a lot more interface with like the actual tropes of classical music. And there are definitely some bands who do that um but uh yeah i mean so i mean I, i'm optimistic about metal's future and and i hope that more and more bands like uh i don't know take the opportunity to like fulfill metal's potential um i think that's everything i had to say and yes so liturgy is a metal band. There's not any other kind of band. It's clearly metal. <laughs>